Good evening, viewers. Good evening. Good evening. I'm happy to have you here, and I'm happy to be on live with you here. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okan from Ghana. Let's pray. Most gracious Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Indeed, we say you are God. There's no other God like you. Father, we have come before you to share your word. Let your children have impact in your way and be transformed through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, viewers. God bless you, audience. God bless you, congregation, members in Christ. For we have come to share the word of God with the, with the, in the common faith of Christ. And this evening, I'll be talking about regeneration. 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 That is the new birth. The new birth. Regeneration. And we are taking our scripture in John chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. And John chapter 3, 1 to 8, spoke of one Jewish leader that is Nicodemus, a leader who, who, who wanted to find out how he can enter into the kingdom of God. And he, he Nicodemus went to Jesus Christ to find out how he can enter into the kingdom of God. And I believe that by the end of these teachings, you'll be transformed to worship God very well. And with a great faith, you be with him and believe in him as well. Amen. If you want to contact me, there's uh, my WhatsApp screen moving. You can subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel and click on the notification bell. YouTube is Apostle Emmanuel Ajito Okai. And Facebook is Emmanuel Okai. And bring your comments, like this video, and uh, share it. Please share the video, share it, share it. God bless you, 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 God bless you. Amen, 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 amen. So, the topic for today is regeneration, the new birth. When we say new, uh, regeneration, regeneration is, is, is renewal, rebirth being born again being born again who is spiritually if i say spiritually dead i mean dead in sin remember the bible says that for the witches of sin is death so you have you be regenerated that is renewal or rebirth amen and the rebirth or renewal uh, or being born again means this uh, that is life is eternal life is eternal it is a complete new start and a second meaning is that it's a second genesis for a person or the a second beginning of any person. Now we may think of regeneration as a precursor of re uh, resurrection at the last day. When begins a new life without end in heaven, we may consider it so because the Holy Spirit giving us our rebirth is a guarantee or down payment of the what of, of, of that eternal life amen now let's consider the three blessings of regeneration or the three blessings of reborn or uh, uh, rebirth or renewal of the three blessings of being born again 
the three blessings of being born again. But before that, I would like us to read the Bible as John chapter 3, verse 1 to 8 says, and I read, There was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader, who was a Pharisee. After that one evening, he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And uh, 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 in verse four, uh, four, 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 what verse four says, what do you mean? Explain Nicodemus. How can old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter into the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. Verse 8, the wind blows wherever it wants. Just as you can hear the wind, but can't tell where it comes from or where it is going. So you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. This is a word of God. So, the topic is regeneration. That is the new birth. Please, can you like this video and share it? If you want to support God's work, if you want to support the ministry, you can source it to support the ministry by contacting me in my messenger or WhatsApp number. Let's move on my screen. Okay. Now, as we have listened to the scripture, we, are, we take it step by step. Okay. Please like this video and share it. And I'm much uh, grateful to have you, viewers, audience, uh, listeners. God bless you for making time with the Lord, not because of it, but because of the Lord you are here. Amen. Now, let's look at the three blessings of a regeneration or being born again. Being born again. One. One. The three blessings of regeneration or the three blessings tied up with the new birth. These blessings cannot be had without being reborn or being uh, 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 born again. There are these three blessings. And one, one, I want to say something. A person without being born again can cannot enter the kingdom of god so a person who is not born again will not enter god's kingdom that is number one number two a person who is not born again will not benefit from christ's death three a person who is not born again will not receive the holy spirit amen in, in, in order properly understand regeneration that we need to consider its connection with those three blessings and those three blessings is one the blessings is what entry entry into the kingdom of god 
entry into the kingdom of God. Jesus said in John chapter 1, uh, John chapter 3, verse 1 to 8, Jesus said, unless a person is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God or cannot enter into the kingdom. So unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That is John chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. Jesus make it clear that only those who are born again have the blessings of entering God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. Please kindly like this video and what? And share it. So Paul says that in Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 to 14, Paul says that God has delivered us from the power of the kingdom of darkness and transferred or conveyed us into the kingdom of his words, dear son. In him we have redemption through his blood. You see, so through the blood of Jesus, we become born again and he, 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 he delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the sonship. Do you get it? So notice how Paul uses the word in him, in him, in him, in him, in him. Do you get it? Paul regards those in the kingdom as being what? In Christ. All who are in the kingdom are in Christ. And all who are in Christ are in the what? Kingdom. Do you get it? So Paul says in another place, that is uh, 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 Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 70 says that if anyone is in christ he is what a new creation you cannot be in christ and in his kingdom unless you are what a new creation rebirth a new born being born again mean that unless you are born again do you get it so there is no other way to enter into the kingdom of God but to be made a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. We are moving on to the second blessings of being born again. You have the benefit of Christ's death. The benefit of what? Christ's death. In Romans chapter 6, Paul speaks of being baptized into Christ Jesus. Do you get it? Baptized into, into his word, his death. Romans chapter 6, verse 3 says that Paul goes on to say, Just as Christ was raised from what the dead by the glory of the Father we also should walk in newness of life that is Romans chapter 6 verse 4 so a little further down if you come down and Paul says that our old self our old self was crucified with him our old self was crucified with him now if we die with him, we believe we shall also live with him. And it continues says that recall yourself to be dead in sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. That is Romans chapter 6, verse 6, and Romans chapter 6, verse 8. 
uh, Romans chapter 6, verse what? 11. So Paul in Romans chapter 6 did not use the word regeneration or rebirth. But it's certainly talking about it. Paul talks about it and makes it plain that you have you have come into his work is death. The benefit of Christ's death belong to be what rebirth. The two go together and cannot be separate. You cannot be in Christ's death if you are not born again. Do you understand? Can you like this video and share it? My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okai from Ghana. Do you get it? So since the benefit of Christ's death are only for the, uh, for, for the born again, nobody else can be saved, justified, sanctified, redeemed, forgiven, to name several of the benefits of Christ's death. There is a popular belief that many Christians have not been born again. Yes. If that were true, then this would be Christians without the benefit of Christ's death. Do you get it? They would not be saved and would be no, no different to non-Christians death in sin. So every Christian, every believer, every born again must have the benefit of Christ's death. And know that in in the death of Christ, you also died with him and live in him. Amen. We are moving on, on the third one. On the third one. Uh, every born again or any born again has the gift of the Holy Spirit. Has the what? The gift of of the word holy word spirit and that's why in john chapter 3 jesus christ said that john chapter 3 verse 5 jesus christ said to nicodemus he said i assure you no one can enter the kingdom of god without being born of water and the spirit everyone that is being born again must have the spirit of god the holy spirit do you understand do you get it so the blessings of being born again or regeneration is to have the gift of the holy spirit now let us consider the third blessings connected with regeneration that is the rebirth the seal of the holy spirit is is is, is guarantee of our inheritance if you read ephesians chapter one If you read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13 to 15, the Bible says that, And now you Gentiles have also heard the truth, the good news that God saved us. And when you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the holy spirit you see by giving you the holy spirit so if you become born again 
you, you and you believe in Christ, Christ identify you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit. So you are being identified when you believe in God or you believe in Christ by he giving you the Holy Spirit whom he promised a long ago. Listen to verse 14, Ephesians 1, 14. The Bible is like, the Spirit is God's guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he promised that he has purchased us to be his own people. So the Holy Spirit made God to guarantee us, or the Holy Spirit guarantee us to God that he will give us his inheritance, his promise that he has purchased us by his own what people. So we come, we belong to Christ through the Holy Spirit. So when you are being uh, you, when you are being must come upon you, the Bible says that he did this so we would praise. Do you get it? He said that he did this so that we will praise him and glorify him. So without the Holy Spirit, without the Holy Spirit, you cannot praise God and you cannot glorify him. Do you get it? So with the Holy Spirit, the Spirit is God's guarantee. So every Christian, every believer of Christ must have the Spirit that guarantee him to Christ, to God. And 15 says that ever, ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord, Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere. Do, 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 do you understand now? So, the seal of the Holy Spirit is the guarantee of our inheritance. Without the Holy Spirit, Listen, look, without the Holy Spirit, our hope of internal life, of life. If you read Romans chapter 8, verse 2, the Bible says that, and because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. You see? So every believer must have what? The life-giving spirit. When, when, when you accept Jesus Christ and you become born again, you must have what? The power of the life-giving spirit. And it has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. So the Holy Spirit will help you for you to be free from the what? Power of sin that leads what? To death. Amen. Amen. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okang. Can they like this video and share it? support the work of god so seek to support the work of god and i believe god will bless you amen thank you viewers for making time with the lord as i continue please kindly share the video invite friends to come and listen to the truth the hard truth in the name of our lord jesus christ amen so a person a person must be born again into newness of what life into newness of what life born of water and the spirit as john chapter 3 verse 5 stated so the blessings of being born again and having and, and, and of having the holy spirit go together and cannot be separated 
So you cannot be born again without not having the Holy Spirit. You cannot be born again without not having the inheritance, whereby a guarantee of the Holy Spirit. Every Christian, every believer who is born again must have what? The Holy Spirit. And you cannot be born again without what? The Holy Spirit. Do you understand? For example, for example, Peter says in, in, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 22 to 23, Peter says, you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit. You see, you have purified your, your souls in obeying the truth through what the spirit so is the spirit of god that will help you to know the truth and obey christ and obey the truth and know the truth from christ and he continues is that having been born again so nobody can have blessings through the holy spirit without being born again you need to be what being what born again to have the holy spirit god bless you this is a teachings concerning regeneration the new life rebirth renewal so for all christians i think there is general agreement that only those born again have the holy spirit have what the what holy what spirit agreement however there is a disagreement about whether all christians are born again and have their what holy spirit do you get it but paul said something in romans chapter 8 verse 9 paul says that any person who does not have the spirit of god is not his paul says that any person who does not have the spirit of god is not what his you see, this means that all who are his, all who belong to Christ, all who are Christians, do have what the Holy Spirit. And that means they all have been born again. They all have been what, born again because they cannot have the Holy Spirit without being born again again paul says that god saved us not because of righteous things we, we we had done but according to his mercies by the washing of regeneration and and what renewing by the holy spirit so you need to have the holy spirit to renew you and regenerate you to have a new life in christ and it is there you 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 will be you'll be born of what the water and the spirit and you have the new life do you get it so that not only ties regeneration and the holy spirit together but also ties salvation to them in other words everyone who has salvation also has regeneration and the holy word spirit on the day of pentecost peter continued uh, peter continued to command and peter commanded obedience to the gospel and promised all who obeyed that they would 
He says not only what forgiveness of sin, but also the gift of the what Holy Spirit. He promised this to the apostolic a, a group order to the apostles in their time. He promised this to as many, many Christians as well and to today and to next to the generation to come. So anyone that is being born again must have the Holy Spirit, must have the benefit and know the benefit of Christ's death and to work hard to make sure they are entering into the kingdom of God. Do you understand? So, this means that Peter promised regeneration to all because of the gift of the Spirit and being born again are tied together. Regeneration is the same as rebirth. Regeneration is the same as new birth. Regeneration is the same as born again, renewal or recreation. My sister, my brother, God bless you and God keep you. As the word has come, you want to give your life to Christ. Yes, you are a sinner. You have not accepted Jesus Christ as your savior. I want you to pray this prayer of repentance with me. And I believe by the end of our prayer, Jesus Christ will come in your life. And the prayer of forgiveness will be given, will be accepted to you. I want you to bow down your heads and let's pray. Oh Lord Jesus, I come to you with a heart of repentance. I thank you for your infinite love and mercies upon my life. I thank you for counting me worthy of your kindness. You have shown me love, compassion, despite all my wrongdoings and misgiving. I am grateful to you, Lord, because you have never condemned me for any of my transgressions. Oh, Heavenly Father, a repentant heart is all that you require from us. And a true and a sincere confession is what you need. Please, I need before you, O oh Lord, wash me with the blood of your son, Jesus. Purify me, sanctify me, and forgive me for my sins. Blot out my transgressions. Make me clean in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For I have accepted your son Jesus to be my savior always through his blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for sending your son to come and die for me. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And God keep you. May God make you the head. May his spirit be with you always. Look for a Bible believing church and attend. And I know that as you have been born again, you have you as, as you have you have confessed your sins. Look for a Bible believing church and let the man of God baptize you. And the spirit of God shall come upon you. Because when John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ, the Bible said the spirit of the Lord came upon jesus christ in the form of a dove so if you receive baptism you receive jesus christ and you know that you have a benefit of his death god bless you and god keep you my name is apostle Emmanuel okai if you want to support the ministry you can sow seed to support the ministry and i believe 
that your life shall never be the same. Meet me here, same time of today. I've changed my time now. I'll bring you to 11 p.m. in my time in Ghana here. I don't know your time, so just make a calculation and meet me here, same time here, same man of God and same living God that we worship. God bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word that you've given it to your children. As you have known the benefit and the blessings of being born again, transform them, speak to them always, and let them hear the word and be transformed. Lead them to the right Bible-believing church. Through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Peace. Shalom. See you tomorrow, same time here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.